Figure 9.11 shows, first of all, the average product of labor as this blue shaded line. It also shows the price heading curve, which gives the real wage consistent with the outcome of profit maximizing price setting behavior of firms for the economy as a whole. As such, it defines how output is distributed between workers and employees. What about point A? What does it represent? Point A is above the price setting curve, so real wage is too high. That is, the real wage is higher than the one consistent with a firm's profit maximizing markup. For a given average product of labor, if the real wage is too high, it means the markup is too low. Firms will then react by raising their price. Given the demand, higher price implies that output will fall. This applies to all firms, so total employment falls. The economy ends up in point B. And point C. What will happen if the economy is at point C? In this case, the real wage is too low and the markup is too high. Firms can lower the price and produce more, and in this way, increase total profit. With all firms reacting this way, employment in the whole economy increases. We are back at point B. Only at point B, the firm is at the firm's profit maximizing price and profit margin. Giving economy wide demand, total profits are lower at A and C for firms facing the demand curve. 